What's going on, guys? You're in with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to the Chatter Cave, a weekly podcast about Pokemon and much, much more featuring yours truly and Spizzles. Hey, guys. What's up? All right. So before we get too far into podcasts, we want to tell you guys something really quick because we did do this last video, but we did it like way at the end. So a lot of you probably didn't see it or you just completely ignored the description because you're all evil monsters. You would it. <laughs> in uh, next week's edition of the Catter Cave... We will be um, doing a question and answer video sort of thing. Not the entire video is going to be Q&A, but we, we want to be doing some Q&A. So either any for Spizzles or for me, if you have any questions, leave them down in the description below or the comments below. We'll be going through them and answering as many as we can next week. So, um, yeah, do you have anything to put in on that subject? Um, yeah, in case some of you – some of you may have – did actually um, comment and actually left a couple questions, but they weren't really very Q and A ish questions. But we're still gonna put them on the list for next time for the ones of you that actually did hear us say that we were gonna do a Q and A. Um, and also, I'm here. I didn't get fired because I interrupted Hardy's outro. <laughs> I will not do that again because after the video was over, after we stopped recording, he was like, "You're so fired." <laughs> <laughs> um, also, you guys kind of took this a little seriously. I want to point out, while he is a huge fag, Spizzles is not actually gay, so... Yeah, unlike all the rest of his friends, I'm actually straight, so... But it was, it was actually quite funny to me. I, like, I actually went in the comments, I swear to God, you guys are very committed to this whole listening to Hardy thing. Because, like, 90% of the comments said exactly this. Spizzles is a faggot. And then in parentheses, there was always, Hardy told me to, kind of thing. And then there were a couple of you that actually took it to heart and thought that that meant I was actually gay. So, you know, it was, it was quite, it was quite interesting to me. Um, actually, I just remembered this. Um, before we started recording this, we were like coming up with a bunch of topics to talk about. I just kind of remembered that there is a little bit of poke news to go over really quick. So, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. I believe yesterday we had yet another new Pokemon revealed with X and Y just two, I think two weeks away now. We had, um, that, you know, Hone Edge, right? Like the sword Pokemon? Yes. He had his evolution revealed, which mm. um, I don't remember what it's called, but it's just, it's two swords. <laughs> Whoa. They just added a second sword, and I'm like, wow, okay. That's cool. I think it's like, um, Dual Blade, or, no, it's like Dual Blade. I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up on Bulbapedia right now while we, um, continue talking, but that's pretty much the only Poker news we had, actually, all week. Oh, um, also, Pokemon The Origins, which is, like, an anime special. Have you heard of that? I, I've heard rumors about it, but I don't really know anything, so... Well, it will be coming to the U.S. in November. It's going to actually be airing in Japan next week. Um, it's like an anime special about like the Pokemon Red and Blue games, which star Red and Blue, and like Red's journey to becoming a Pokemon master or something. And it will be released in the U.S. in November as a four-part special, which will be airing exclusively on the Pokemon TV website and the Pokemon um, app for iPhone and Android and all that. So, Damn. That sounds awesome. I love Red. Red's, Red's beast. Oh, honest. oh, that's right. Yeah, the, um, Honedge's new evolution is called Du or like Duo Blade, D O U Blade. Wow, that is very creative. It's the next <laughs> Duck Trio, <laughs> <laughs> basically. Oh man, actually, that that actually sounds pretty cool. I mean, I don't know what it looks like. I mean, have they actually released a picture of it? Uh, yeah, it does. I'll I'll give you a link to it in Skype. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, in case some of you do not know this, um, we record the podcast over Skype, and uh, yeah. And that was his actually, Skype. <laughs> that was my Skype. Speaking of which, I should probably put it on D&D, so let me do that. Uh, and Dual Blade will be continuing to have its previous evolution's ability, which is No Guard, and it says that it like has the ability to attack twice in battle, so I'm not really sure what that means, so... but it will be able to use Sacred Sword, which is typically an exclusive move to the musketeer trio or the musketeer i guess quad trio because also kelly i don't know the musketeer pokemon so it looks like sacred sword isn't just an exclusive move anymore okay but cool. uh apparently duo blade can like become like two separate swords and i don't know all that matters is it's freaking pink now and it's badass so yeah i kind of like it it's it's different like it looks it looks pretty cool actually 
I, I can dig that. I can dig it. Um, hmm. Okay. So is there? Any, you said there isn't anything else, though, right? With news wise. Uh, no. Surprisingly, I think that's all the news that came out. Um, in like the the past week or so, because. You think there'd be more with like X and Y just on the verge of coming out, but I can assume probably like next week or like the week before we'll probably get a bunch of news to talk about. So we'll have to wait until then. For the record, we are recording this on Thursday, so if any news comes out between now and Sunday, we won't know about it. So sorry, guys, but I don't know. I don't really feel like they're gonna announce that much more because at this point they're probably like, ah, fuck it. They're gonna get the game in, you know, a couple weeks or well, however long it is, and um. You know, at this point, it's like, okay, they can just find all this shit out by themselves. So, <laughs> uh, but Yeah, I'm, like, really excited because I pre-ordered Y, and I'm really excited to, like, go into that game, for the most part, completely blind. Because it's going to bring back a lot of, like, nostalgia from when I was younger and playing Pokemon. Like, when I first played Ruby, I didn't know anything about that game. I just started playing it. And I did the same with Fire Red, and I did the same with um, Pearl when that first came out. I did the same with the Unova games. It's it's gonna bring it's just like that nostalgia of going to a brand new game, knowing absolutely nothing, and just finding your own way around without using a guide or walkthroughs on YouTube. And I'm just so excited. Yeah, you're gonna get lost and not know what to do. Can't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to avoid spoilers though, because like everyone and their mother is gonna be doing let's plays of it. But I'm not gonna be watching any X and Y let's plays until after I beat the game. So. I hate any of you like, I'm subscribed to, you're not going to be getting my view for about a week or so. Sorry. <laughs> you know, here's here's one thing I don't understand. Like, is there, like, a recording device that you can get to, like, record your DS? Because um, I've, I've heard about people having them, but I don't know what it is. Um. Yeah, you can get a, a capture card for your 3DS now, but it costs, like, I think between $300 and $500. What? So, yeah, because it, it's, like, custom-made. It's not something you can just go into the store and buy. They, like, actually have to custom-build it, and it's, like, attached to your 3DS, so you can never take it off. Well, obviously. I mean, who would want to have, like, a big HD PVR box thing just <laughs> attached <laughs> to the DS? Um, so, yeah. The, you you can't get a capture card. I know, like, oh, I'm surprised, like, so many PokeTubers are ordering. It's like, who would have thought all these people had, like, just 500 bucks sitting around? <laughs> And I know Hoodlum Scrafty is order had ordered one that he's gonna be getting in the mail and I'm here like screw that, I'll just like stick to Game Boy. <laughs> what here's well like how I guess it just re- records it like in two D, right? I mean you can't really record it in three D because uh, no. Well, I don't think anybody actually uses the three D features. So Yeah. Like for a while YouTube, like on a lot of videos I saw you can watch this in three D, but that kinda disappeared, so I don't know what's been going on with that. Like do you remember that? Yeah. Are you uh, lying to me? No, I actually do remember because okay. I know at one time they when had you like said it was like <laughs> No. <laughs> they, <would> have, <laughs> they had like two the two um, the same video like in two different windows playing side by side next to each other. And like you guess you're supposed to like focus on the middle or something, and that's weird. It was also confusing. You know the whole three DS thing. I I don't really like the like when I was trying to watch one of my friends play on his three DS, it just like was hurting my eyes because you know you have to be like in a certain position for it to really look right. So I'm not really a fan of three D to be honest with you. So. I think the entire time I've had my three DS, the only time I've ever actually used the three D feature. For more than like two seconds is in um, cutscenes in Kingdom Hearts 3D. Like, oh damn! Yeah, I, I can imagine that being cool. Yeah. Uh, besides that, I've like never. You can't. It's so hard to actually play a game with the 3D features turned on because it like completely screws up your depth perception. Yeah, exactly. And you know, um, like for example, like when I go to see movies, all my friends seem to want to go see the 3D, and I'm always like, "Fuck that! Let's just go to 2D." I mean, it's it. It gets the same feel, and I don't, I mean, it just, even when you're wearing the glasses, sometimes it doesn't look perfect, so I just hate it, the whole 3D thing, so. Um, I've actually, like, never really seen, a, I've seen 3D movies before, but I haven't seen a 3D movie since, like, 2007, because I would just rather watch the movie normally and not have it, like, all blue and red and crap and, like, hard to tell what's going on sometimes. Yeah. Just watch yeah. it normally, like, every, it's... 
I'd rather watch Norway like every thirty minutes well, have like some random object pop out at me for no reason. You know what? Movie theaters they don't give you like the well, you you know they don't really look red and blue anymore. They're like just black. They give you like the black glasses that kind of look like hipster glasses, and they just say real D three D on the side. They're completely different now. They're not like the plastic with the red and blue anymore. Uh, well, like I said, I haven't, and the only, I've never been into a 3D actually movie theater. The only time I watched a movie in 3D was, um, like on DVD that came with some glasses. So, and this is like six years ago. <laughs> I've been, I've been in several, but it's been a while since I've been in one until my trip over the summer. I went to St. Louis and we ended up, um, watching Man of Steel and we didn't actually know that the Man of Steel movie at that movie theater was only 3D and they didn't, they didn't even really have it listed as 3d or 2d so we didn't know but you know i didn't really mind that much because the movie was amazing and i was like fuck it i'm still gonna go see it with one of my friends when i get back to alabama huntsville charger village since everybody already knows (laughs) Um, and um you know what room number are you again uh screw you (laughs) Um, i want to send you something i gotta send you a cookie you actually can send me something. I'll, I'll give that to you afterwards so you can just put it in the description. Or <laughs> I was going to say, it's like, guys, it's in the description. <laughs> I kind of want to put like your full address and see if anyone sends you anything. Just like one day I just get like a ton of Pokemon shit. And like, <laughs> like because they email you, you get something. And they just email me to say, uh, you have like five Pikachus and stuff in the mail. It's like, thanks. Love it. Someone anyway, should send you like just a can of tuna. Can of tuna. Okay, that's that's y'all's mission. If, if you actually <laughs> get the address, send me a can of tuna, and it'll be nice and rotted and smell terrible by the time it gets to me. But anyway, that's, that's like what a pool you're building. Everyone's gonna have to like sit outside, and I'll be the douche of the dorm because everybody will be like, "Oh, that's a queer that had like a bunch of um like tuna stuff sent to him." So that's what everybody's going to associate me for. So, anyway, we should probably get started on our topics. So, oh, fine. So I'll let you introduce the first topic. He actually came up with these because once again, I'm extremely lazy and did absolutely nothing. I promise next week I will have topics ready. So, pinky promise. Yeah, apparently I'm the one who's dedicated to this. Just kidding. You're dedicated too. I don't mean that. Um. Anyway, so I figured we would start with. Hardy's drunk experience. Oh, yay. So. All right. So just just letting some of you know that maybe mo- most of you who watch this definitely watch his Nuzlocke runs. But um, in the second most recent, since he uploaded the 30th episode, and actually he's probably On part 29. Yeah, but you uploaded 30, too. Yeah, well, I'm just saying it's part 29 for those. Part 29 for- is where... He makes a video, and he's very monotone the whole time because he talked like this the whole time on Skype when I was talking to him. Like, when he's drunk, he talks all monotone and just very chilled out-like. So it was actually kind of awesome because he was just hilarious. <laughs> and um, I actually really liked the video, and I know a lot of you guys didn't. But, you know, it's just a matter of opinion. Just as many people did, you know, just the, the part yeah, people yeah, that it, didn't like it were just a lot more vocal about it. It's usually about 50-50 with your, with your subscribers. I know, it's crazy. (laughs) Um, But, uh, I don't know. Um, I I actually went to Sonic, and then all of a sudden I got back to the dorm, and I saw on Skype, Hardy sent me, are you on? Like, are you on Skype? And I said, I am now. And then all of a sudden he calls me up, and he and his buddy Robin, who apparently is Canadian, because, you know, he's the queen of Canada, so he's got to have Canadian buddies. Wait, really quickly. Someone said that, like, the... I only said I was the Queen of Canada because I was drunk. I'm like, bitch, I've been the Queen of Canada for like 10 videos now. Where have you been? Yeah, yeah. Totally missed out on that, apparently. And yeah, it was, it's been on his Skype status for a while. I don't know if it actually is anymore, but it was. It's not pay attention, thanks. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm behind. But I am hard anyway, attack now. Um, I'm creative. So, basically, uh, he, he calls me up, and he is he's just fucked up let's just be honest he's just drunk and acting really stupid and um it was fun <laughs> it, it was it was pretty fun I, I was just here eating my sonic popcorn chicken 
having a good time just listening to him going on his little rants. And, and believe it or not, you know how he does those things in his videos where he's always like, I'm just going to start talking really fast and not take breathing breaks and, you know, just... For the I, record, I do that in real life. That's not just something I do in my videos. Yeah. Well, you do that in your videos, you do it in real life, and you do it while you're drunk, but you do it slightly different that just makes it a little bit more funny. And <laughs> Wait, how do I do it when I'm drunk? I, I can't, I can't, like, mock it. Like, I'm not really, not mock it. I, I can't, like, imitate it. See, oh, well, yeah. the funny thing is, like, I have our Skype call recorded, so I'll have yes. to go back and listen to that. Wait, have you not listened to it yet? No, I would post it, like, in this video, but from what I remember, I we get, like, I get pretty personal from what I'm talking about, so there's no really... Yeah, and, and he did go into some personal stuff with, like, girls and stuff, but we're not going to go into that. And um, it was actually, I felt like I was Dr. Phil for a little bit of that video, because, you know, I was like, <laughs> open up to me, and he was like... Oh, I'm sad and lonely. I didn't fucking cry. <laughs> I didn't say I was lonely. I was just bitching about a certain I, I, I'm somebody. just kidding. He, he didn't say any of that, but we, we did talk about some stuff, and it was it, it got pretty personal because, you know, I'm one of his, like, best buds, so he trusts me or whatever. And um, has an ego. <laughs> um, you're one to talk. You have an ego, too, just in different ways. <laughs> The and, only uh, time I have an ego is around you because I like to piss you off. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. That's true. You're like, oh my god, I got so many problems <laughs> now. <laughs> I don't like, actually think like that in general. I just, I do it because I find it fun to rub it in your face because <laughs> I'm such an asshole to you. I don't know why you're still yeah. my friend. <laughs> um, but yeah. you're just as much of an asshole to me. And that's just how friendship forms. If you guys want to, like, for you guys out there, if you have a friend like this, you know, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, eventually, if you become really good friends with somebody, your entire friendship <laughs> just becomes yeah. based on being huge asses to each other. Yeah, and, and, you know, some reason, like, the closest people have that kind of connection. Like, they all just, they just fucking piss each other off all the time, but they still keep each other around. We make each other laugh. <laughs> we do. <laughs> He's a little bit funnier than I am. Usually I say a joke like the Tiger Woods joke, and he's like, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, you know, also in the video um, podcast, too, a lot of you guys were either like, we need more stupid jokes, or, you know, we need more jokes. And unfortunately, I did not prepare a joke this time. I'll, I'll prepare next time. So You, act, wait, you mean you actually did, like, prepare that joke? <laughs> Yeah, I figured like okay, no joke that bad could have actually been prepared. I thought you just like panicked and said the random you know, words. I was trying to find the bat, like the worst joke I could find, and <sighs> I found that, and I was like, okay, this is it. We're gonna roll with this, and um, you know, I'll probably try to find more bad jokes. I'll probably actually try to find some some actually decent jokes too. Um, wait, but wait, um, think a lot of you guys were like, I don't get it, <laughs> and there were a lot of you guys that were like. That was stupid, which was true. So I don't blame you on that. Right, have you ever seen Two and a Half Men? Yes. Okay, because I just like thinking about jokes. I like thought of a joke from that, and I'm like curious if you know it or not. Okay, we don't we don't need to sing it. Okay. Um, so. But I'll tell a joke. You'll probably know it. Um, but I'll tell it anyways because I can. Where does a girl with one leg work? Oh, I hop. Yeah, I, I mean, know that yeah, he ruined the moment. Oh, was I was I supposed to like be quiet or something? Was I, I supposed to? I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Did you just fap? That was a drum roll. I drum rolled on my laptop. Oh, yes, my God. yes, my dick sounds like metal. Thank you. Um. Oh, anyway, all right. Anyway, so. <laughs> um. Anyway. Hmm. Should we get into another topic? Or should I don't know, we... you don't want to talk about my drunk experience? Why not tell one about one of your drunk experiences? The people want to know about you. Okay, alright, that's fine. Um, and they're probably like shouting, no, we don't want to know about him. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I've, I've gotten drunk several times, but uh, really the only amount of times I've gotten drunk in at college has been like like two times, and that's it. And you know, occasionally like if somebody has like 
you know, a drink or something, they'll pass me, pass it to me and say, hey, try this, and I'll try it and be like, okay, that's good, or okay, this tastes like shit, because I'll be honest. I'm not going to be like one of those guys that's like, oh, man, this stuff tastes so good. I can drink alcohol for days. If it sucks, I'm going to say, this sucks. And then they're like, oh, you little pussy. And I'm like, I don't care. It tastes terrible. Anyway, um, so one time I was with my friends, and we were playing poker and stuff, and um, one guy had vodka. We had a bunch of Mike's Hard Lemonade and a bunch of other stuff. And then, you know, we had a lot of, um, well, and then we had this nasty-ass beer like this is the worst beer i've ever had milwaukee's best have you ever had that me uh i don't drink beer in general so no well, well it's terrible it I, I i mean some people like it but like me and my roommates we were all like this tastes terrible and the main reason we got that one is because um one of my roommates actually uh pulled a hey mister which for those of you that don't know what that is that's where um, basically you find like a hobo at like Walmart or something and give them some money, a little bit of extra for themselves since they're hobos, and say, hey, mister, get it, hey, mister, um, can you go and get some alcohol for me? And then if and then if things kind of go downhill, you can be like, no, nah, man, I just, I just forgot my ID, and then they all know you're full of shit. But most of the time, the hobos will get you shit. So anyway, he, he, he got the I, – I never deal with that because I don't want to be put in that bad situation. Um, but, um, he, he came back with the alcohol and everything, and then, you know, the, it was, it was the worst beer I ever had, and then, um, I actually got separated from them, because they were doing something else for, for me, and I went back to the room, and, and I decided I was bored, so I just started drinking even more, and I got so drunk, I don't remember how many I had, but it was a lot, like, and, um, and I'm, I'm a pretty skinny guy, Hardy can can agree on that. He's like so twelve I, pounds. No, I'm actually 160, which surprises people because I don't look 160, but I am. And um, you know, I'm really skinny and lanky and really, really white. And <laughs> but um, I'm really I'm probably a lightweight. I guess you consider me a lightweight. So I probably got drunk a little bit easier than some people would, but I still had a lot to drink. And I started doing the stupidest shit. Like, I started, like, laying on the floor. I had a Dr. Pepper bottle, and I started banging myself on the head with it. And I, I apparently got kind of aggressive, too. Like, there was a point where um, one of my roommates was actually filming me, which he actually still has the thing on his camera saved. But he doesn't go here anymore, so. Um, he doesn't go to my school anymore. And, uh, you know, I kept on getting really mad because I kept seeing him record, and then there were times where I just completely missed it. Like, like he'd have it, like, really visible. But because of how drunk I was, I would just overlook everything. And it was pretty embarrassing when I watched the video later. And one time I actually put a Walmart bag over my head and almost... <laughs> I, like, tried to smother myself, like, legitimately. Not on purpose, but I was just, like... I saw a bag and I was like, oh, this, this thing has little... Um, Handles. I bet I can put those over my ears. <laughs> put it on my head. So you think you're retarded sometimes, Hardy? Hi. Right. My name's my name's Stephen, aka Spizzles, or aka whatever the hell these people call me. Anyway, fag. Um, yeah, <laughs> fag is, is is a common one. And anyway, um, and then there was a, there was another experience that was even weirder. In fact, it went on YouTube for a while, and a, a, several of my friends actually didn't realize I was drunk. And I really wasn't that drunk, but I was drunk. I was tipsy, I guess you could say. And it was enough to where I, was, I wanted to do stupid shit for, to be funny. And um, I got, like, I got this, like, Mario hat. It's like a Mario hat that's, um, like, a flat bill. And I put it kind of sideways, kind of like that Rob Deerdeck skateboarding dude that's kind of a douche. Where <laughs> I face like that. And then put on my Ray-Bans, like, my $500 Ray-Bans because they're prescription Put them on my head. Uh, put them over my eyes with the hat, and then um, this was back when Gundam style was getting big. <laughs> and um, you know You're that making was, me feel old now. Yeah, I know that's a long <laughs> time ago. Um, but yeah, this was like the first semester of college for me, and that's right when Gundam style got big. And um, like we were playing the video, and we actually asked one of our roommates that was completely sober what we should what we should talk about while having gone style playing the background and we decided to make a video like a legitimate video 
and he was like, I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. And, and he happened to be holding Oreos in his hands at the time. And we were like, oh my god, we can talk about Oreos. And we're doing K-pop, so let's just talk about Korean Oreos. And thus, <laughs> Korean Oreos was... Did you ever see that, by the way? Me? I, I did. You showed that to me. <laughs> okay, well, it's gone now. So sorry for all you people out there. The video is completely gone, except apparently my one of my roommates now has it saved on his computer, so... You should go get it from him, and then we should, like, link it in the description. No. <laughs> yes. But I took it down, and part of the reason I didn't take it down right away, and it actually kind of spread through a lot of my friends, is I couldn't remember the password, because I made a legitimate channel and everything for this one fucking <laughs> video. Like, the channel name was Korean Oreos. <laughs> Main video was Korean Oreos. We made two of them. I don't remember what the other one was. But it, it wasn't was, nearly as good. It was nowhere near as good. And, you know, <laughs> and basically I started off saying Korean Oreos. Oreos. Basically, it's like rape. You got two black people and one white person just crushed them. <laughs> well, I'm going to stop you right there. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> I'm Let's not going any further into that. <laughs> Um, but I could already see people searching for the flag button and getting out their pitchforks. I'm sorry, like I, I it wasn't meant to be racist, but but when I watched it later, I was like, wow, that was really racist. And I'm not to really, be fair, he's from Alabama, so and, well, that, I'm not really a racist person. I'm not. I have I have one black friend. So. <laughs> you said like I have a black friend. Therefore, I'm not racist. I have one because you know most of them see me and they're like, "Wow, this is a super white guy," and kind of run away. Well, they run away. They're they just afraid of you. They don't catch the, and they don't look catch at your white. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my friend Darren, that actually still goes here, he um saw me, and it, he was actually roommates with a guy that was friends with a roommate of mine. And he actually found it funny how wide I was, so he started hanging out with me because he, he just thought I was funny because of how wide I was. But, um, you know, anyway, so the Korean Oreo, Korean Oreo video was pretty bad, pretty stupid. And the main reason I couldn't remember the – or take it down was because I didn't know the password. Found out later the password, like, was drunk as fuck. So I just started like f trying to figure out what it was, and I don't remember how I figured out what it was, but it it took me like legitimately like a week to figure it out. So, <laughs> and that is all about SPP, aka Spizzle, aka Steven, aka apparently a faggot. No, um, it's just fag. It's... All right, <laughs> that's anyway, your that's, official name. <laughs> that is that is the drunk experience. Oh, uh, that's why you don't drink, boys and girls, because you'll turn into him. So. <laughs> And now no I feel like I need a drink after listening to that. <laughs> um, well, so yeah. let's move on to our next topic that we have uh, that we just want to talk about. So, yeah. okay, um, how long have we been going? We've been going for a while, actually. Like, we don't long... think about we don't discuss the time limit in the video that's breaking the fourth wall. Uh, okay, my bad. We got to keep this kind I, of I distance between from reality and simulations. What? The appreciation class should have taught me that. Uh, anyway, okay, so here's the next topic. I thought of this topic um, while watching Hardy's drunk video because he got raped by a scyther. Like, mm. like legitimately sweet by a scyther. And while Freaking I was watching... Clunkers quad resist Fury Cut. It's not it, fair. And I was... I didn't really... I actually had no idea that Fury Cutter, like, like built up like that, at least not that fast. Because... You know, while I was watching, had like two sword stances off. So yeah, that's true. And then Scyther kept doing the um, double team, so he'd be evasive. And I, I he did it like six times. I was like, why the hell is he doing it that many times in a row? And Hardy was just taking his time killing him. He was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm hitting the W button, <laughs> <laughs> which is the A button on emulators. Anyway, um, so I thought, what? Why not talk about Hardy's? Pokemon history of enemy Pokemon. Like, all of Hardy's enemy Pokemon. Two come to mind right away. Scyther, of course, and Omastar. Omastar. Money. And, yeah, Money uh, was one of his po Pokemon. And then... Uh, he trapped uh, me. Yeah, he did. And there's been several more. 
And that's just one thing that's always stuck in my mind about his videos. Um, probably the things that come to mind when I think of Hardy's videos that aren't just straight-up nuzlocks, the death montages. I miss those, by the way. You should totally bring them back. Don't and worry, they are. <laughs> the enemy Pokemon. It's so funny to me. I don't. So. Okay, well, this will probably be a bit of a spoiler, but Death 4 will be happening after um, White Platinum comes to an end. So. <gasps> Yay! And it's gonna it's gonna have um white platinum, leaf green, um Ooh. and blaze black too. So. Oh my god! I'm excited now. <laughs> I'm, I'm fanboying out. Right? Those are still like some of my most popular videos because I get comments on those three videos a lot, and people seem to like my misery. <laughs> so yay! Yeah. For suffering. But yeah, so my my um enemy Pokemon I. Like you said, I think Amistar is probably like the most pop, like the most well known of my um, enemy Pokemon because like every time I see an Amistar, I bitch at it. So that was that was an Emerald, right? Um, I had my Amistar an Emerald named Money, and in my Platinum randomizer, he cr- killed Mountain Dew. So no, that wasn't Platinum. That was um, Sacred or Spirit Gold. Oh yeah, yeah, Spirit Gold. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I remember just. When I was really, um, I, there was a time, I'm going to be honest with you and your subs, um, there was a time where I kind of just stopped watching your videos, but that was because I tried to just, like, stop watching videos in general because I just wanted to focus on school. I wasn't watching anything on YouTube except for, like, I was watching a little bit of Vsauce, which is like a sciencey channel, and the SciShow, and, um, but that was legitimately it. And then I was like, this is stupid. I want to start watching Hardy's videos again. Got really into them, and uh, you know, th- there was um, I don't remember where I was going with this, so just start talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so well, we just talked about Amistar, and I've been like trying to think ever since you told me about this topic. I'm trying to remember like my other enemy Pokemon now, and um, Rodom Freeze from Blaze Black, uh, just that completely that was, wrecking was my bridge? life. Oh, the, yeah, that was the refrigerator, right? Yeah, <laughs> that just swept me completely unexpected. I never thought that was gonna happen, and okay. that was, I'd never, um, I'd never ever battled a Rodon before because, the um, Blaze Black was pretty much like my first time ever playing fifth gen, and yeah. I didn't really play fourth gen um very much. Like I played through Pearl once, and then I kind of got out of Pokemon for a while. And I started playing Pokemon again right before I did Blaze Black. So I would never, like, experienced Rodom. I didn't know anything about him. So I didn't know that he had Levitate, and I didn't know all the different typings. So I was pretty much just screwed going into that battle. There was, like, nothing I could have done. And you let me die. You let me die. <laughs> yeah. I let my uh, for alligator die. Yes, um, that one was back when he still loved all of us other YouTubers that he was close to. He still loves us, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> But uh, he would name pretty much all of us after, or, or he would give his, his Pokemon nicknames that were us, you know. And, um, you know, for example, in the new Light Platinum, he has Gato, who's just deteriorating in a box right now. But um, <laughs> basically... Hey, he's, he, killed Cy- he killed that Scyther. Gato saved me. Gato yeah, saved yeah, Light Platinum. Yeah, I, that was impressive. But Gato is actually my um, neighbor in my hometown. Birmingham. I'm not giving you my address. <laughs> Just the street. Don't figure out the rest. Um. Anyway, so uh, he actually lived across from me, and he he and I were the ones who decided we'd get into YouTube videos and stuff. We were watching like that was back in the days when um, uh, Sandy Ravage and all those channels were real big. And they and probably uh, don't know anything about the Call of Duty community, so there's like no point mentioning. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, it was back when Call of Duty was bigger. And, you know, it ended up being where Gato, Gato really didn't stick with it, and I got more into it. But, um, you know, you had me, who was the Feraligator, because I got to be a fucking Totodile right off the bat, and then, you know, evolved into Croconaw and then Feraligator. I felt so freaking awesome. And then Refrigerator comes out, sweeps out all his Pokemon, and, and by the time he actually sent me out there... I was just like, he doesn't even care anymore. He doesn't care <laughs> any of these. So he's not going to have some dramatic exit with SPB. So I was sad. Hey, I had six of my friends die that day. <laughs> <laughs> Except I think I had um like a Galvantula. 
This is like over a year and a half ago. So the fact that I remember this is a, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I had like a Galvantula named Lucky who I don't think was named after anybody. I just, well, I, yeah, you ran out of YouTubers because you weren't yeah. back then. <laughs> Well, no, at the time I had, like, um, I think I hit 500 during Blaze Black. Cause I think, Blaze Black um, is when you when your channel started going off. You know, started, no, that was Emerald. Emerald's when my channel started Emerald's going off. Emerald's randomizer is when you started having a lot of growth. That's true. Donut. That's not your donut. Right. <laughs> I don't know why that moment's, like, so popular. It was just... That's my favorite was... moment of all time that was completely spontaneous and that's like probably what made it so great <laughs> i think if i had that plan and if it was staged it wouldn't have came off as well kind of like my tiger woods joke it was okay planned. Well, you that's fucking what fucking suck at life okay <laughs> like um oh um i don't know why speaking of like spontaneous and stuff like uh the past few videos i did which ended in part 29 it was just like a little four video thing at the beginning of each of them, I had, like, those little skits with the dude outside the lab. Mm -hmm. And um, that just started off, like, completely spontaneous. I did not have that plan. I think, like, at the beginning of part 25, I started thinking, like, hey, I, sh I just, I don't know why I, like, randomly went to that town and I just started yelling at that guy. But um, none of the things, like, none of the dialogue in that was planned. I just, I would go there, like, I'd stand next it. to him, and I'd just start talking. So, party. So <laughs> Party is the queen of Canada, but the king of improv. So I am. I am. Um, um, it's it's weird. Like speaking of improv, because like a few weeks ago, I went to just some random improv class with a friend. And I thought, well, this is going to be awesome because I do improv a lot of my videos. So maybe taking an improv class would help benefit that even more. And then I realized, like in person, I'm just the shyest dude, and I just kind of sat there and didn't do a single thing. So <laughs> I didn't learn anything that day. <laughs> But it, I, it's weird how um, I, I've never really even thought about it until I went to that class, like how much my channel like revolves around improv because I never have anything planned that I do. It's everything I say, everything I do is just completely spontaneous. So like the donuts. And that is, and that is Hardy's enemy Pokemon. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> we, we, had a big, we had a big list of things that we wanted to talk about. And we were saying, we're probably going to get off topic. We've gone it from everything of Man of Steel 3D to, <laughs> to the donut and improv. We can't stay on topic, which is fine. But, you know. Well, if we just stayed on topic, it'd get really boring and it'd be over in like 10 minutes. Yeah, so. and this is us improving right now. Because we, we, we're not, we, we've given ourselves a couple little topics, but then we branch out and... You know, spontaneous is awesome. So that's no. like if, um, a lot of people ask me for like tips on to improve their videos. That's I've just like thought of this now. Learn like to be spontaneous and like learn how to like do improv because it's just those spontaneous moments to be able to when something boring is going on, you could make entertainment out of it. Just, it make entertainment out of thin air is what can make a video so good. So and, and it also will keep people coming back because. If they see something that's crazy, like the donut thing, um, they're like, ooh, I wonder what what's the next thing he'll do that's just completely random and really stupid but awesome. And then, you know, you got the talking to the yelling at that random guy. And, yes, when you brought that up, yeah, I love that when you did that for those couple of episodes. I was like, that's just, it was just funny. Because <laughs> we could tell, even though, like, it was improv, you didn't, like, stutter or, or lose track of your words like i do all the time so that's one thing that you you're good at is you don't really trip over your own words so well it's, it's weird because i do that in person i stutter a ton like when i'm just having normal conversation a lot i get like nervous and i stutter but when i'm just doing commentaries i don't it's just spontaneous but Actually, um, I think the second one of those, I had to record it like three different, I tried recording it like three different times because either, I think the first time I did it, I like got up to him and I just, I didn't say anything. I just got <laughs> completely speechless. <laughs> and I think like the second time I ended up like running away and I ended up like running into an obstacle. What, and, <laughs> next time, next time you just, if you decide to go back to see him again. for like yeah, I blew him up. What am I supposed to see? <laughs> Like for one of, for one of your videos, you should um, start off with going up to him and make us think that you're about to like start going on a tangent and just be random again, and you just it's just pure silence for like a whole minute. 
and then it goes into your intro. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Just like Adam, we'll be like, is he is he gonna say anything? No. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't think that'd be, like, as funny as, like, in theory it sounds funny, but it'd probably just come off as, like, really stupid and awkward. Well, like just, like, like a I minute said, of silence. Like I said, coming back to the Tiger Woods joke. <laughs> okay, but I can make stupid and awkward, and I can make those, like, stupid and awkward, I can make them funny. You can't. No, when, whenever you make <laughs> stupid and awkward funny, your solution is to just do the no laugh that you do. I don't remember works. ever doing that laugh. Well, I, I can't really imitate you. Like, you're very hard to imitate. I don't, like, like, ser- I don't, like I don't have yeah. any memory of, like, ever laughing at my own jokes. What? Well, it's a fake laugh. You do a fake laugh is what I'm talking about. I don't remember. You've this. done it You've done it in some of your videos. Like, you don't even watch your own videos after you, like, record them, do you? Um, for the most part, no. I think the, like, the only one I've watched, like, recently was the drunk video. Just, just to, like, see how stupid I was. For the well, most that's part, different. No, I, I you had no idea what you, what you were saying at the time. And, you know. I actually, um, I didn't really like, have any memory loss, actually. I remember pretty much everything that happened that night. But you just like, what, what was wrong with me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It was, pretty, it was pretty bad. But at the same time, it was pretty funny. So, um, Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Scyther. Almost <laughs> Road on freeze. Um, what other enemy Pokemon do I have? I can't like think of any at the moment. Um, Cinchino for killing Enzo. Uh, how about Gastrodon? Oh my god, Gastrodons! Oh, they're so. It, I'm just glad I got past it, those. It's not. It's not the fact Gastrodons. that they like really kill you or anything. Yeah, it's just you have to face them over and over again. And I didn't have like... any grass type moves. <laughs> I made it so horrible. Mm-hmm. I, just, I had to sit there and like hate my life. Ugh. But um, so that's my enemy Pokemon. <laughs> well, we didn't do as good as I was hoping we would. That's because okay. I I'm like drawing a huge memory blank and I can't think of well, any but, other ones I mean, at the moment. You've made so many videos. I mean, you upload uh, except for times when you're busy or whatever. For a lot of a lot of the time, you're uploading. You know, five. <clears throat> five to seven episodes a week because you're doing it almost daily and then um you know looking back on it that far back may not seem like that long ago but if you consider in like video time it looks really really far back because like how many videos do you have on your channel now like how many? i think it's like 400 to 450 or something like, like that's that. a lot of videos so it's, like, hard to kind of remember a certain moment. Now, like, nobody's ever going to forget the donut moment. Probably people aren't going to get the whole yelling at the random guy moments. Um, it's, it's things like that that are different. But, you know, when it comes to, you know, evil Pokemon, you, you should go back through to all your videos and, and make an enemy Pokemon montage. <laughs> I'm, I'm um, full of horrible ideas. So that's I know, horrible. I know. In like a recent video, I actually like went off a list of like Pokemon on my hit list, and I can't remember them now, and it's driving me insane. Yeah, you should make like a Pokemon hit list montage or something. <laughs> it doesn't have as good of a ring to it as I thought it would. So, hmm. Hmm. the hit list, the hit list, or Pokemon Most Wanted. <laughs> Did you ever play Need for Speed Most Wanted? That game was awesome. I love that game. Um, I never really been into Need for Speed games. The only Need for Speed game I liked was um, Shift and Shift Two. Are you kidding me? Really, the I Shift games? I like the Shift. I like I like racing games. I like Mario Kart. I like um, Shift. I like those kind of games. So. See, I was. I mean, when it comes to Need for Speed, I liked Hot Pursuit Two, um, and I liked Hot Pursuit, Hot Pursuit, and Hot Pursuit Two. Not the new one, the new Hot Pursuit they recently came out with, like the newer version or whatever. Terrible. I played it. I was so excited. And I just, it was a real letdown. And then um, I, I really like Most Wanted. And I even, even though a lot of people don't like Carbon, I think I actually like Need for Speed Carbon for a while. Is that um, the one on the Game Boy? I, wait, no, uh, I know there was, like, one on wanted, a Game Boy. Most Wanted and Carbon were both on the Xbox. Uh, they were actually available on the GameCube, too. I had, I had, um, 
I had Carbon on the GameCube and the Xbox. I had it on the GameCube first, and then oh, you I, badass. Yeah, and and then I got it on the Xbox too, um, and then um, I had Most Wanted on the Xbox, and then I had Hot Pursuit Two on the GameCube. So, but those were like my favorite games. Me and Gato would actually play them a lot. So yeah, I think his his favorite was uh, his one of his favorite games of all time is Hot Pursuit Two. So it makes sense. Hmm. What's anyway. your favorite game of all time? What's my favorite game of all time? Yes. Hmm. Actually, let's save that for if anyone asks it in the Q&A next week. We can't give away too much information. Now somebody's going to ask it, and I'm going to be like, I don't know. Because <laughs> I actually have an idea of what it could be right now. But you better freaking know what my favorite game is. I'm guessing it's Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> I bet you think you're funny right now. <laughs> that is a good game, though. You gotta admit, it's a good game. I still yet to beat it because I've been playing Wind Waker instead. But um, seriously, do you know? <laughs> um, I've always said it like a hundred times in videos. I don't. I. It's like I'm drawing a blank because I know you've said it. I just can't think of it right now. It recently had a remastered release. <laughs> For the PS3, and it made me mad because I don't Kingdom have PS3. Hearts, Kingdom Hearts. Thank you. you I'm were... sorry, I, I completely drew a blank on that. Um, but yeah, Kingdom Hearts is a great game. So it is. I love it so much. And um, Rusty said if I get it, she'd let me borrow her PS3. So I'm like really actually tempted to go get the remastered releases now. So might as well. Yeah, uh, I might have to. But then like she'll take the PS3 back because she's borrowing my 3DS at the moment. So. Um. It's like, well, I might as well, I'm, which I'm going to, like, go over there on the 12th and, like, punch her in the face and take it back, so. Give it back. I, I, put I won't actually punch her in the face. If I punch her in the face, she'll kill me, so. Okay, so you said in the video, she's got X and you got Y. What's uh, the difference again? Like, you said in the video, I just don't remember. What? Like, what's the difference between X and Y? Like, when, when you were talking in the video, like, the recent video well technically she's not getting x yet because she doesn't have a 3ds but eventually she will get x so okay. but I, as far as i know the difference between x and y i'm assuming is they're each going to have like version exclusive pokemon and the legendaries yeah, of course. so mm -hmm. i think that's like the actual only difference is uh the version exclusive pokemon which is always pretty much the only difference you know uh between <laughs> like diamond and pearl there was like no differences between like except for the legendary events and it would, I don't think it was until, like, Black, black and White and Black 2 and White 2 when they had, um, like, Opelousted City, I think it was called. It had, like, the different appearances depending on which version you're playing. And, like, Black and Black 2 had Black City and White and White 2 had White Forest. It was, like, the first time when first time when the game you were... The version you were playing actually had, like, a different feature entirely. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, if, if they should make, uh, I yeah, I don't even know where I was going. I was going to say, like, they should make one that has benches and one that has, like, chairs. But screw chairs. It's benches for life. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, just imagine them having, like, like you know those tables? Like, I, I know you, you travel a lot. Did you, have you ever stopped at, like, the rest areas? Like, the interstate rest areas? Yeah. Have, like, those kind of, like, tables. Like, the little picnic table that are, like, made out of rock. That you can uh, just sit at. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it's called a picnic table. <laughs> yeah, picnic table. You got it. Well, you gotta overcomplicate things. Like, <laughs> oh, they're made of rock. <laughs> Geodude tables. Dude, they should have chairs made out of wood. <laughs> they should have pseudo mudo chairs. <laughs> oh my god. But it would be a rock chair. Not a grass chair. Well, you're just bragging about your rock tables. <laughs> you know, Why not have a rock chair, too? That was one thing I never figured out. I, I played Pokemon Gold a lot. Like, the, the regular version, not the Heart Gold or whatever. I played that so much. And not until way later did I realize that Sudowoodo was a rock type. Because I was really confused. Because I had, I had, like, I would always use Cyndaquil, right? So I, by that point, I'd probably have at least a cool lava or typhlosion, and I would just 
I'd use fire attacks on it. And I was like, why the fuck isn't it dying? It's grass. So, yeah. Okay, I have a, this reminds me of a story of a certain gay deer known as Rustbite, who I almost lost like all respect for her when this happened. But um, a while back, we were on some road trip somewhere, and we started playing um, 20 Question Pokemon Edition. Mm-hmm. And her, I think her Pokemon was like Pseudo Wudo or whatever. And she thought that Pseudo Wudo was a water type. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. And she's like, because I guess she got like confused and she's like, oh no, but it learned Squirt Gun. <laughs> because I don't even know why. She started thinking Pseudo Wudo was a water type and she started thinking there's a move called Squirt Gun. And. Well, like, look at, um, what, what's the name of that shit? What's, what's the name of that Pokemon, like, the, one of the fossil Pokemon you get? Not, not the new X and Y, but, like, an older game. Um, it's like the water bug. Um, oh, Kabuto? No, 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 no. Or Anorith? No, I'm thinking of, uh, it's actually, like, Bug, Bug Rock. Bug Rock, that's Anorith. Oh, yeah, but it learns Water Gun. It doesn't make any sense. Why does it know Water Gun? I don't know why can Embor learn Scald. That's true. Yeah, you make that's about- what, To be fair, I think like actually a lot of fire types can learn Scald because it's like steaming like hot burning, water. Yeah, burning water. So, oh, oh, actually, um, I've been thinking of this recently. I know it's just completely off topic, but I figured this would be a good time to <laughs> talk about. <laughs> as it. if we're not off topic <laughs> enough as is. Um, with X and Y coming out. I noticed they haven't really been, like, mentioning past features that may be returning. That made me wonder if, like, in X and Y, if challenge mode is going to be coming back. Um, Because they've never said anything about it, which challenge mode was introduced in Black 2 and White 2. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be returning in X and Y? Um, I guess that was the only feature, actually. (laughs) I thought there was more than, like, well, I guess that's it. But, yeah, like, um, I wonder if challenge mode is going to be coming back in X and Y. Because I really like the challenge mode idea because it makes the game more challenging. I thought it was incredibly stupid that you don't unlock it until after you beat the Elite Four because then it makes it pointless and you'd have to like restart your game over to use it. Or um, you'd have to um, trade it to a different game if you wanted to use it before then. But um, they should just make challenge mode like available from the beginning because then it'd actually make it useful and yeah... Maybe they make that as a DLC or something again. Because, you know, we're getting on that <gasps> DLC thing. Yeah, someone's like, uh, so in the comment of the last one, someone's like, oh, they never do po- DLC for Pokemon. And you got to realize the reason why they've never done DLC for Pokemon before is because every other Pokemon handheld game, is you couldn't do DLC on it. You, know, you couldn't do DLC for DS games or Game Boy games. 3DS games, it's possible to do DLC for. So this is the first time they ever actually had that option available. I definitely think if they don't take advantage of it, they're going to be missing out on like a ton of money here. And we know how Nintendo feels about money. So I would not be surprised at all if there's X and Y DLC. Yeah, me neither. I, I think it'd be a great idea. I think that would benefit Nintendo in a lot of ways. Or Game Freak or whatever. Whatever the fuck they are. Um, well, Nintendo owns Game Freak, so... Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I think that would that would be awesome. So, not like I'm going to get it or anything. But. <laughs> Why do I even have you as a co-host? You don't play <laughs> you don't like to play Pokémon at all. Well, I do. I mean, I play I play Pokémon, I just don't play like, I'm probably not going to play the new game for a while. But I, you know, I'm really thinking about it. I really am, I'm really thinking I actually want to get a 3DS and um maybe get it for Christmas. I want to be one of those Christmas noobs. So. <laughs> Christmas X and Y noob. Uh, God, do you remember? I mean, obviously, a lot of your fans are are Pokemon people, but you know, we were actually, um, me and Hardy were talking uh, while he was drunk or whatever. We were talking about all the good times and what we had, you know, way back in the day. And um, we were talking about, you know, the big group of us that would all just after school was over, we'd all hop on Call <laughs> of Duty and play. You know, I remember just getting on right after Christmas. God, so many Christmas noobs. You could just dominate. And then as soon as that kind of goes away, you start getting destroyed again. And you're like, fuck this game. <laughs> Next game comes out in November. Oh, my God, Call of Duty Ghost. I'm so excited, man. You can, like, you could play as a girl. You could play as a girl. 
I don't know, because looking at like the previews for Ghost, it actually looks kind of cool. At least the campaign does. I don't. I'm probably. I haven't uh, seen I, a single trailer for it. Well, okay, so, you're lying. Man. I haven't even played Black Ops Two in probably like three months, three or four months. So yeah, I, I rarely play it. I hop on every once in a while, but Black Ops Two is just. Eh. Like, I thought I, Black Ops Two was a really good game. I know. I think I think Black Ops Two, like I think the campaign was actually really well done with, especially with like multiple different endings, multiple different ways of doing things, and um, yeah, that was cool with like the branching stories. Yeah, and that that was awesome. It's just like, you know, the multiplayer didn't really feel any different. Is the thing that bothered me. It, it feels exactly the same. But you can't really change the COD formula too much because if you change yeah, it too yeah. much, people are gonna hate it. You know, you and can like, only make like these small tweaks. Yeah, and that's true. That's true. And it, yeah, I understand that. It's just, you know, at a certain point, I've just gotten tired of it, so I don't really play anymore. Anyway, let's get off the Call of Duty topic because nobody gives a shit. <laughs> I'm sure there are some subscribers out there to play COD. Like that one time we said COD sucks, and the, that guy's like, you know, I don't really play it anymore, but I still get offended by it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess there are people like that. I, I'm sort of like that at times. So, COD um, sucks. I bet you hate me now. N- no, I don't. Hate me! <laughs> Please! Oh, man. Okay, so <laughs> should we get on to the next subject? The final <laughs> subject of this video, because I think we've been almost at an hour now, so we'll wrap it up with this. Okay, so are we, doing, are we doing the fancy one? A preview. You guys are probably curious of what my next Nuzlocke is going to be. And yes. unless somehow it starts within like the next two days, which is extremely unlikely, um, you guys don't know what it is yet. And Spizzles here is like, well, we should like give them hints to see if they can guess. So Yeah, and that, that's the thing, like... Just remember what you've done before. You you lay you left like hints and stuff on Twitter. You know you need um, to do... yeah <laughs> like that, huh? Uh, like I was hinting at of Fire Red Omega so much. Like I was so giving so many hints. Like I had an Electabuzz named Omega. Like I had so many Twitter messages that were saying like pretty much shouting it's Omega and nobody guessed it. So I was really sad. <laughs> um. I didn't really tease Light Platinum at all. I think I, right after Leaf Green ended, I just went right into Light Platinum with like and without any kind of um, teasing or anything. So I don't well, even think I knew I was going to do Light Platinum until like, I You started. also let people like vote for it, too. Oh, that's oh. right. That's what I yeah. did. I didn't yeah. even remember how Light Platinum started. It's only been like two so months. So if somebody, if somebody wanted to just find out what you were going to do, they could have just gone through the comments and been like, oh my god. I really hope he's doing like platinum. Of course he's doing like platinum. That's what y'all voted for. But. For the record, it's not Snakewood. I'm not doing Snakewood next. So That's the really, really hard one I've heard. Well, um, well that was dude, Ride, so. Light Platinum won by one vote, I believe. So And Snakewood and Light Platinum were like neck and neck. I didn't really want to do Snakewood, so I was really glad Light Platinum won. So And now the fact that like, it seems everyone else and their mother is doing Snakewood, and I don't like to be on that popular bandwagon. I like to start the bandwagons, but I don't like to jump on them late. So I'm personally, I'm hoping that he does Pokemon My Ass version. Um, <laughs> have you uh, have you heard about that one? I have. I've seen. I well, so normally funny. I normally I don't watch Shofu. I think I watched like the first video of his Let's Play of that. So yeah, um, it's and it's funny. but uh, I don't know. Is anything actually like changing that game besides sprite and like dialogue though? Pretty much no. Then I mean, it's yeah. just fire red. Yeah, basically. But you know, it'd just be funny because you know, you I, with your randomness. But well, yeah, but, I don't really think that game would like suit my humor well. It seems like it's more made for like Hayden. But yes, Hardy does. He did. He did say this before we started. And I think he may have said it just a second ago, but I don't remember if he did. So I'm just gonna say it again. Um, he does know what he's doing as of right now. So. I'd almost like changed yesterday because I was playing a different hack, and I'm like, oh, now I want to nuzlocke this, but I, I managed to like stick. Stand behind what you want to do. I okay, I'll tell you this. I almost decided to um, nuzlocke Liquid Crystal, but that's not what my next game is. So, it's Liquid Crystal. <laughs> I will say this much: um, my next nuzlocke is a hack, and it is in a brand new region. So. Okay, that, that's, that's all big, I'll say. Pretty big hint. Uh, all right. Well, and that doesn't tell me anything. 
Yeah, you said like before we started doing this, you're like, oh, I'm not going to know what it is because I'm a dumbass, which you are. So, <laughs> but it's if you guys can guess that. There, but... Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, I think that pretty much brings us full circle with today's Cater Cave. So, yay! I didn't get fired <laughs> yet. Yet. So, Spizzles, would you like to go ahead and do your leaving introduction thing? Not introduction because you're going away now. My ouch reduction. Yes. Outro. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, that way I do it now so I don't interrupt him. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Spizzles, a.k.a. SPB, a.k.a. Steven, a.k.a. Fag, apparently, a.k.a. whatever the hell you want to call me, and I am out. As always, his link will be down in the description if you want to go check out his lame-ass channel. That I don't really focus on at all. But anyway, (laughs) go ahead. Um... Until next time, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the laggity like button down below. I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. Peace.